Hello, everyone. I am Wei Wu, a senior researcher in L3S Research Center, Netherlands University, Hanover, Germany. Today, I am very happy to attend the virtual WWW conference and present our recent research performance in network mining and the graph algorithms. The paper is titled with the Hashing Accelerated Graph Neural Networks for Link Prediction. Okay, let's go into the slides and uh, introduce our, our recent research work. The research work focuses on link prediction. This is a very popular task in network mining and uh, graph mining and uh, it aims to predict whether there exists a link between two nodes in a network. Given a simple example, which consists of four nodes, our task is to predict whether there is an edge between node 2 and node 3. Currently, there are two types of networks, plain network, which consists of only structural information and attributed network, which is composed of attribute information of the nodes and the structural information. In this, in this work, we focus on the link prediction on the attributed network. Currently, the methodology can be roughly classified into two types. The one is the traditional methods, which is based on the explicit similarity computation after network embedding, like deep work, Bain, node to work, net hash, and so on. The other is the G graph neural networks. This is a popular solution to the graph related works and it can conduct the tasks in a land to land manner like SEAL, WLKNM. However, the GAN graph algorithms require expensive computational resources and memory costs due to the massive parameter learning, so it hinders the application of the, alg the algorithms without the help of a powerful workhorse. Our goal of the research work is to keep a balance between the accuracy and time by adopting the locality sensitivity hashing algorithms. First of all, let me introduce the network embedding, which is an important concept in the network mining. It is a vectorized representation of network data with the similarity preserved via dimension reduction. It embeds each node into a no-dimensional feature space, and uh, the similar nodes in the network are close in the no-dimensional space. For example, the nodes with the same color are very, are very similar in the original feature space, and uh, they are mapped to the locations, uh, which are very close in the two-dimensional space. West Fainer Neyman Color Neural Network is an uh, uh, algorithm in the GNN in the GNN scheme, which is also an instance of the message passing scheme. The West Fainer Neyman Color Neural Network work is based on the gra uh, West Fainer Neyman graph kernel, which is a classical kernel in the graph classification and the network mining. There are two steps in the kernel. First, the first one is to sort the node and all its neighboring nodes as a string. And the second one is to relabel the string as a new label. For example, in a four-node graph, each node is labeled as a label. And node B has two labeling nodes, A and C, so we can sort node B and uh, all its neighboring nodes A, C as a string, and then we can relabel the string as a new label D. We repeat the operation on other nodes in the network, and then we 
get the load label in the first iteration of the waste final name operation. In the waste, the waste final name kernel neural work can be formulated as a formula and the t means the t iteration u1, u2, and u3 are the shared weight matrices. Circle is a combination operation on the nodes itself, v, and all its neighboring nodes, u. Sum is the aggregation operation on all the neighboring nodes, and sigma is the non-linear activation. So we can see that node v at the t iteration is uh, uh, is the representation of the node of the node itself at the t and uh, all its neighboring nodes at the t minus one iteration. Let's let me introduce the mean hash, which is a, a classical locality sensitivity hashing algorithm. Given two binary sets S and T, the Jacquard similarity is the ratio between the intersection and the union. The mean hash algorithm has two implementations. The first one is to conduct a random permutation pi on the universal set U. It returns the element in the first position of the permutation of the subset as the mean hash value. For example, 7 is the first position of the subset S. However, the random permutation is time-consuming, so the second method is to adopt a global hash function to simulate the random permutation pi. Each element in the universal set is uh, mapped to the real axis with the same probability. The algorithm returns the element which has the minimum hash value in the subset. For example, 7 is uh, mapped to the leftmost of the real axis, so it is the mean hash value of the subset S. Mean, the mean hash algorithm has the solid theorem. It can give an unbiased estimator for the Jacquard similarity. In practice, we get the expectation when applying the multiple random permutations. In this slide, we give uh, out the outline of the hash GNN algorithm. The Key steps, the key lines are labeled as the red rectangles. Now, let me explain the key steps in the hash GNN algorithm. Now, this formula comes from the waste phase name and kernel neural network. Introduce uh, U1, U2, and U3 are the non are the weight matrices which should which should be known. We observe that uh, the random permutation pi is mathematically equivalent with the uniformly distributed random matrices. So we can replace the matrices in the formula with the random matrices random matrices, pi 1, pi 2, and pi 3. Consequently, we can conduct, we can execute and compute the equation efficiently because it contains no learning processes. You know, all the, all the matrices are generated at random instead of learning in the waste final name and kernel neural network. Also, we give the similarity estimation of the hash GNN algorithm. Now, the similarity between two nodes, V1 and V2, is equal to the expectation of the Hamming distance between the node embedding of V1 and V2 at the tth iteration. 
Interestingly, we can observe that uh, the hash GAN algorithm generates a Markov chain of networking uh, states. The whole attributed network V is composed of the nodes, the node embeddings. And we find that the network, the network state at the tth iteration just depends on the last one iteration. So it, so it satisfies the definition of the Markov chain. And uh, furthermore, we can give the state transition function from the network state at the t minus one to the t iteration. In this equation, we can find that uh, the node embedding at the t iteration depends on the node itself and all the neighboring nodes at the t minus one iteration. Furthermore, we give the representational power of the graph neural network based algorithms from the perspective of the probability. The maximally powerful GNN algorithm has the probability that to the different sub substructures in the network can be mapped to the same location is zero. Otherwise, if the two substructures are the same, they will be mapped to the same location. The less powerful GNN algorithms has the probability larger than zero. The hash GNN has the probability which is equal to the similarity of the two nodes. Also, we give the concentration of the estimator for the similarity based on the Markov chain. Next, we conduct the experiment on the five data sets. We give a part of experimental results due to the space limit. We can see that uh, the hash GAN is slightly inferior to the learning based algorithms, but it runs much more efficiently than the graph neural network algorithms. Furthermore, we conduct uh, experiments on a large scale data set in order to verify the scalability of the hash GN algorithm. And the results show that the hash GN algorithms run scalarly with the number of the nodes increasing and uh, the number of iterations increasing. However, other hash based algorithms uh, can't run due to the memory or the run or the runtime if the scale is a large, if it is a little large scale. In conclusion, in this paper, we give an efficient and scalable link prediction algorithm hash GNM. The algorithm is based on the randomized hashing technique and uh, contains no massive parameter learning in the GNM algorithms. So it, it runs much more efficiently than the GNN algorithms. But, uh, but it, because it is based on the hash GNN, it inherits the advantages of the hash GNN algorithms and it can get good performance. Also, we give the discriminative power of the hash GNN algorithm, which is the pro uh, which is equal to the similarity between the two nodes. Uh, finally, it shows the superior, superiority in efficiency and competes well with the learning-based algorithms. Thanks. Any questions?